It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. But tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, Big Danny. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice punch, man, over the top. Really using his reach advantage there with that one in DC. Lee gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Nice kick. And now he's got that tight clinch. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times at the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, huh? I do. A bit. Horrible. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Moving to his left now. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, nice. Nice. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here. Just out of range. Connects with a right. All right, he closes the distance. Gets the single follow tie. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier the fight, 
the better. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Big body kick land. Big head kick land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. So he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Missed with that right hand. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Back and forth we go here. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Nice body kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Lee gets absolutely punished by that hit. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? I mean, that right hand landed square. And there comes the separation now. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Big kick lands. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your pole. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Just missing on the high kick there. Beautiful kick. He lands a big knee to the body. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Oh, straight right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. One, two there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when we're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, really? Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big 
big leg kick land. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, collar tie. Oh, that's a nice strike. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Big body kick. Just missing on the uppercut there. Big head kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. He went higher now. Looking to land the right just out of range. Got the single collar tie. Boy, tie pump. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Good stick. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Lee. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. There's no tell on that leg kick. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter. Oh! Easy throw. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot, he recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still in the match, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. What a punch. Jab falls up with a nice right hand. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Stupid shoot. 
nice punch lands over the top. Lands the double jab. Oh, spinning backfist out of nowhere. And both guys really throwing with authority. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of oh. first strikes. Oh. So there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Nice leg kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that shot. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He oh! He's out! Unbelievable! What a fight! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and... I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out quick. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done.